should you do deep soil tests on your farm? All right, if you're doing zero to six inch tests, we think that's great. We're, we're happy that you're doing soil testing. That's where a lot of your roots are, not certainly not even close to all of them, but at least a lot of the roots. And that's also where you can change a lot of things fairly quickly in that top six inches. But we do want you to at least occasionally, at least in a few spots in your fields, check down at 6 to 12 inches, 12 to 18, 18 to 24. If you check all those depths, we're looking for a couple of different things. First of all, we want to find out how many of our nitrates, sulfates, boron, all these leachable nutrients, how many of those have moved down into that area because we can still access them a lot of times with our roots. The other thing we're curious about is how about the other nutrients like P and K for example. Just consider this, if your ground is dry, well, where is there moisture a lot of times? If you have a little drought in the summer, you've got moisture down at 12 inches deep. You probably have roots down there. You're probably extracting moisture, but if you aren't able to extract any nutrients, your yield's going to suffer. So if you see, oh boy, I have no nutrients down there and I'm really loaded up in the top six inches, maybe that tells you, you know what, let's figure out some way to get a little more fertility deep. You know, a lot of times you'll dig roots up down a couple of feet deep and you say, man, I've got all my root hairs in the top few inches and then down deep the roots just don't have any proliferation. There's no root hairs. It, it just doesn't look like much of a root system deep. The reason why is there's no nutrients down there. When you're doing those tests like Brian mentioned, most farmers that I talk to that say, yeah, I'm doing some deep soil testing. When I look at the test, the only thing they're testing for is nitrate. So find out what else is going on because if you're seeing a lot of nitrate down in those deep tests, you're probably like, oh man, I should have split applied my nitrogen because I've got some leaching going on. So it's a bad thing if you're really seeing anything show up on those deep tests. Take a complete soil analysis where it's actually a good thing if you do see some micronutrients and, and P and K and so forth down at deeper levels in the soil to feed your crop. The first farmer in the United States who was consistently raising 300 bushel corn, his name was Herman Warsaw in Illinois back in the 1970s. That's a long time ago. The first guy who raised 400 bushel corn in the United States, and he did it many times, was Francis Childs in Iowa. He did that in the 1980s and 90s. Again, a long time ago. Well, what were these farmers doing right? We've looked at their soil tests and one of the interesting things you'll see is it wasn't just their top six inches they had built up. They also had built up that six to 12 inch zone and even a little bit below that too. So the point is, if we can build up our deeper levels in the soil over time, we believe that's a really good thing. Again, especially in a dry year, but even in a, in a normal year, I just want you to dig up your plants a little bit and see what percentage of roots you've got below six inches. It's often pretty high. Now, Darren mentioned, okay, not a lot of root hairs. Part of that could be because you don't have enough calcium down there and not enough oxygen. It could be because you don't have good drainage, so you don't have enough oxygen. But to his point, if you had more fertility there, the odds are pretty high you're gonna be able to extract that with a decent root system. Yeah, one of the things we talk about for farmers who are spreading manure on their fields or injecting manure is put it in a little bit deeper. When we look at some of the soil tests and see how concentrated the nutrients are in the top few inches or maybe even the top six inches, getting manure down deeper, maybe it's 12 inches or 18 inches on your farm, if you can do that, uh, is a good way to go. Oftentimes you have to go to a smaller machine to apply, so it's gonna take a little more time. But if you're running something like a straight shank where you can drop things in at 18 or 20 inches deep, building up that lower profile can really help you, especially when you get into some dry years as well. We're not saying you have to test in every spot in every field or anything like that, but do at least some deep soil testing. You'll figure out real fast how you're doing overall on fertility, where you should better place fertility. If you're losing some of your fertility to leaching, all those types of things, it'll be well worth it for you. One other thing to watch when you're out in your fields is for weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next.